Okay, good morning. How's everybody doing? Looks like we're uh, back into the movie reviews again. I don't know what kind of background I got up there today, but it could be interesting. Who knows? We'll see what kind of video I can come up with to put in there. I should get enough different video every day. But there's going to be some probably coming up. I might even do just pure special effect like a movie. It's a short film. Anyway, so today's movie is one of the old ones, but a good ones. It's Blade 2. Uh, two. Blade 2, which is another Marvel's comics uh, thing. It's or movie, not a thing. It was directed, yeah, directed good. It's got two. It's got written by, directed. Yeah, I don't want to talk about all that just yet. Anyway, so this has... Um, Wesley Snipes in it again as Blade. And they did a pretty good job with this one. This time, Blade joins forces with the vampire to kill a, a much more deadly vampire than the one they um, they just got rid of. and or, or The vampires that Blade was trying to get rid of in the previous movie, they stepped it up a notch. Then um, this, and this one... Uh, Whistler had they they got Whistler after Whistler got caught in the last one they've got him they've got to rescue him in this one so they somewhere through the movie they rescue Whistler but um, but he's got a different uh, helper this time which is um, it seems like a nice guy during the beginning of this thing he helps him out quite a bit and you know they they go find these creatures that the vampires leadership. I guess that's the way to put it. The vampire leadership had um, designed, genetically designed, after hunting them down and, you know, through the sewers and the tunnels and all that because they had the same problem with light as regular vampires. They they had um, stronger chest plates so you could go straight in at them to, to put them down and with silver rods or bullets or whatever. It just kind of pissed them off that way. Then... Um, they 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 did a lot of hunting. They went into a couple vampire places where they were known to be feed, where these new creatures were known to be feeding. Um, uh, Blade gets involved with one of the lady vampires, and he killed. They use UV bombs. They use UV um, super bombs. They use UV lights. It's the only thing that seemed to kill them. Because they were pervious to the uh, silver bullet, silver stakes, and all the other stuff. They could just sit there and shoot them. They wouldn't do anything, wouldn't move. They did a lot of fun. It was lots of fun to watch. It, you know, it's not like some of the new movies where you, you, you don't like it. You get to hear crickets in the background, and it just kind of sucks. So they did a pretty good, I enjoy it. They did a pretty good job with this. I said it a lot. I'm making this movie boring by saying they did a pretty good job a lot. I must be nervous or something. Either that or I just don't know what I'm trying to say. Probably a little bit of all of the above. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's funny. There we go. That works. Let's see, does it have anything? No, I didn't put anything else on the next page. But it's still crazy because the dog's barking in the background and you can hear him now. But, you know, this, um, all it really seems to be is, uh, the new movies are just going crazy. They're, they're not worth watching. They're not worth spending money at the box office to go see. And I've got a few of them that I actually put out on, um, DVD in the collection. And... You know, it, it's not really the best thing in the world for what we're trying to get out of them is entertainment. You know, it's going to be like anything else in life where, you know, the women have pushed their ideology into life and the men are just walking away from it. The uh, Whistler and his team and the vampires, they all, get, they all got together to uh, kill these things. The one... Old vampire keeps trying to kill Whistler, or um, not Whistler, but Blade, while they're involved in this thing. And 
I think this is the one where they rescue Whistler, or this is the one where they lose Whistler. I could be wrong. Who knows? It's been a while since I've actually uh, watched this. This one, because I watched it and I was tending to do video on it, then I didn't, and should just leave this all set up, sit in here and watch the movies, then... Oh yeah, this is the one where they tried to blame, tried to bleed um, Wesley, or bleed Blade, and he had to drink some blood to make him stronger, so he crawls or gets dropped into a vat. This is the one where they rescue Whistler. It did a pretty good job with it, I thought. I mean, it didn't, um, it didn't suck. It's it's not as good as the original, but every, no movie really is ever as good as the original. And they had fun. The vampires, you know, were trying to seek revenge during killing, killing Whistler or killing Blade while they were in the tunnels. And at the end of this thing, they try to kill Blade, take his blood, and all that fun stuff. And um, he ends up blowing up the creatures they created and turning everything into into a big old mess. Uh, he drinks blood, and then he goes after everybody there at the complex, and they have big old arguments and lots of fights, lots of action. It's actually pretty good. So we're going to call this the end of this video. I know I should have uh, recorded longer, but, you know, it is what it is. And um, we'll talk at you uh, with the next video. Take care. Be safe.